Hey, hey, Reggie, what's up? Nothing much, man. What's going on? I'm doing good. Uh, so I guess I'm calling today because I wanted to talk about the riots that just happened. Because I just recently watched um, the unreleased footage, and I guess I just wanted to get your take on it. Yeah, sure. I mean, to, we're probably in very similar mindset to, in terms of, you know, how crazy it was, how ridiculous, it, you know, the whole attack was overall. But, I mean... You, I'm sure you, you've seen the footage, footage of it all, and to be able to storm the Capitol just so casually, to, yeah. well, not casually, but to be in a whole mob and think that climbing the walls, that attacking, breaking windows, you know, breaking into government official, a government official building is okay, is, is just ridiculous. And in my opinion, if that's not a sign of like, white privilege, I don't know what it is. I, I know. I mean, just the, the fact that, <laughs> I guess, like you said, I mean, seriously, though, albeit the fact that they broke through a window to get in, but yeah. the fact that they even got in there in the first place, you know what I mean? It's just, mm -hmm. it's just insane to me, the fact that they really thought it would be a good idea to do it. And then <laughs> it was like a mall, they just go in there and prance around. And that they think that they're doing something. But in reality, <laughs> they're not, because the boat still, you know, moved on. They just relocated somewhere else. So it really was one, a pointless thing to do. And two, it's just, again, it just shows their privilege, the fact that they even had the, the opportunity to do that. I don't know. It's just crazy. It is. I mean, if this was like, you know, a Black Lives Matter protest, for example, it, well, A, you know, the, the idea, the mere, we wouldn't entertain the mere notion of, you know, breaking into government buildings or whatever. But just also, if we, you know, if they, if they were to try to do it, it would be instant uh, vilifying of, you know, that the whole Black Lives Matter movement. Oh, they're crazy. Oh, they're this. Oh, they're that, you know, arrest them. They're attacking our democracy. But when, you know, quite frankly, you're white and you're, you can storm the Capitol and like very little happens to you. I mean, you know, they're charging them and all of that, but I mean, it's, I don't know. It is, it's just crazy, man. It really is. And like you said, these are, these are, these are the exact same people who would look at a peaceful, peaceful Black Lives Matter movement or march and they would say, oh my God, why are they doing that? You know, attack them, arrest them, you know? And then here they are breaking a Capitol building window, storming in there, literally risking the lives of the people who work in the building, and then think that that's somehow democratic. <laughs> no, you're attacking democracy. You're attacking the country. It's just, it's, oh, and I obviously, I, I, I kind of wanted to talk about, um, Oh, never mind. You know what? I'm done. I'm just gonna let it go. I'm just gonna let it go. You know, it, it it's great that I'm just I just have you as a friend to talk this through, especially nowadays. I've been alone in my house the whole time. So it's just nice yeah. to talk to somebody. Yeah, we, we need to be able to talk to each other and just have these types of conversations in general, you know. Because mm -hmm. otherwise we'd just go crazy, quite frankly. <laughs> honestly, honestly. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, anytime. All right. Talk to you. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>